At first glance, frogs and toads seem almost identical. Both hop, both croak, both live near water, and both belong to the same group of animals, amphibians. Many people even use the words interchangeably, assuming a frog is just a smaller or greener version of a toad. But here's the twist. The difference between frogs and toads is not as simple as you might think, and in many cases, it's not even a strict scientific distinction. Beneath their similar appearances lies a fascinating story of evolution, adaptation, and survival that stretches back hundreds of millions of years. So today, we're diving into the muddy waters, peeling back the myths, and finally answering the question, frog versus toad, what truly sets them apart? Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. To understand frogs and toads, we first need to look at where they fit in the animal kingdom. Both frogs and toads belong to the order Anura, a word that literally means without a tail. This makes sense, since adult frogs and toads lack tails, unlike their tadpole stage. Scientifically speaking, the word frog can apply to all members of this order, including toads. However, in everyday language, toad usually refers to frogs that belong to the family Bufonidae. This is where the confusion begins. Toads are technically frogs, but not all frogs are toads. Think of it like squares and rectangles. Every square is a rectangle, but not every rectangle is a square. One of the most noticeable differences between frogs and toads is their skin. Frogs typically have smooth, moist, and sometimes slimy skin that helps them breathe and stay hydrated. This slick skin is perfectly adapted for life near ponds, lakes, and streams where moisture is always close by. Toads, on the other hand, tend to have dry, bumpy, or warty skin. Those bumps aren't actually warts at all, but specialized glands that help them survive in drier environments. This rough skin allows toads to spend more time away from water without drying out, making them more land-adapted than most frogs. Their body shape and movement also reveal important differences. Frogs are built for jumping. They have long, powerful hind legs that allow them to leap great distances in a single bound. This makes them excellent escape artists when predators approach. Toads, by contrast, have shorter legs that are better suited for walking or making short hops. Instead of dramatic leaps, toads often move with a slow, deliberate waddle. This difference in movement reflects their lifestyles. Frogs rely on speed and agility, while toads depend more on camouflage and chemical defenses. Speaking of defenses, Toads have a unique trick up their sleeve, or rather, behind their eyes. Most toads possess large poison glands called parotoid glands, which secrete toxins when the animal feels threatened. These toxins can make predators sick or even be deadly in large doses. Frogs can also be toxic, especially brightly colored species like poison dart frogs. But this trait is far more common and consistent in toads. This chemical protection allows toads to be slower and less reliant on escape, because many predators quickly learn to leave them alone. Habitat preferences further separate frogs from toads. Frogs usually stay close to water throughout their lives. They often lay their eggs in clusters or floating masses, and their tadpoles develop in ponds or streams. Toads are more flexible. While they still need water to reproduce, they can live much farther from it, sometimes burrowing into soil or hiding under rocks and logs during the day. Toad eggs are often laid in long strings rather than clusters, a subtle but distinctive difference that biologists use to identify species in the wild. Diet-wise, frogs and toads are remarkably similar. Both are carnivorous and primarily feed on insects, 
worms, spiders, and other small invertebrates. Larger species may even eat small mice, fish, or other frogs. Their feeding method is nearly identical as well, using a sticky, fast-moving tongue to snatch prey in the blink of an eye. Despite their differences in appearance and habitat, when it comes to dinner, frogs and toads are very much on the same page. Another surprising truth is that behavior can vary more between individual species than between frogs and toads as groups. Some frogs are terrestrial and have rough skin, while some toads are smoother than expected. Nature doesn't always follow neat categories, and evolution often blurs the lines. This is why scientists prefer using precise species names rather than common terms like frog or toad which are more descriptive than scientific. So why does this distinction matter at all? Beyond satisfying curiosity, understanding frogs and toads helps us better appreciate biodiversity and environmental health. Amphibians are incredibly sensitive to changes in their surroundings, making them important indicators of ecosystem health. When frog and toad populations decline, it often signals problems like pollution, habitat destruction, or climate change. Learning the differences between them helps researchers track species more accurately and protect the habitats they depend on. In the end, the frog versus toad debate isn't about deciding which one is superior. It's about recognizing how each has adapted to survive in its own way. Frogs thrive in watery worlds, sleek and spring-loaded for speed, while toads rule the land with tough skin, potent defenses, and patient resilience. They are two variations on a remarkably successful design, shaped by millions of years of evolution. So the next time you see a small amphibian hopping across your path, take a closer look. Whether it's a frog or a toad, you're witnessing one of nature's most ancient and fascinating survivors. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.